complaint about the service in this joint, there isn't it? Lower than that. Customer. Hey, Lou, how about that Americano, huh? Why don't you ask for I, I can't get his attention otherwise. <laughs> can I please have a ca um, decaf cappuccino? Hi, what can I do for you? A decaf cappuccino? <clears throat> Maybe you should serve them first. No, it's okay. They're all regulars. You're a new customer. Are you sure? They can wait. Oh. Lou. Uh, you're the only one working today? I'm always the only one working. You need more help. Tell the man upstairs that. Best cappuccino I ever had. Thanks, Bill. How did you know what my name was? I mean, I don't think I've ever come in here before. Oh, I know a lot about you, Bill. William Burns, age 43, height 5'10, weight 150 pounds. You were a systems analyst. You were from New York, but you moved to Seattle because it was rated the number one livable city. The next year it was Cincinnati. You tried to fit in. You convinced yourself you were an outdoors person, but really you only went hiking because all your friends did. You became a regular at the Patagonia store. You looked for cute chicks to talk boots with. Wide whale corduroy became your favorite fabric. You voted for the current president because he successfully evaded the draft and you're pretty sure he smoked pot. You also thought his wife was cute. Oh yeah, on Saturdays, you usually beat your wife after she complained about not having sex for a month. You told her she just had a bad memory and then you would slug her. But you were careful. You never bruised her. You were too smart for that. Afterwards, you usually went to a local coffee bar to have a few tall, hot ones. Decaf, of course. You were a serious decaf drinker. Miss anything? Can I have another cappuccino, please? Anything you want, Bill. I mean, uh, who are you really? Uh, you're not just another coffee jock. I mean, don't I know you from someplace? You look kind of familiar. What's your name? Call me Lou. Lou. Lou what? Xavier. Xavier. <laughs> Lou Xavier. <laughs> Lou. Kind of an unusual name. You from around these parts? No. Are you sure we haven't met? Not till now. But you know my name. I know I've seen you someplace before. Hey, hey, don't you live in my building? I'm the man from below. From below? You're the guy in the apartment below me. You know, I hear heavy metal music coming from there all the time. Judas Priest, I think. So, are you a musician? I mean, like, are you in a band? I'm kind of a solo artist. Oh, so you are a musician? Not really. But I do like to orchestrate things. All right, let's cut the crap, Lee. Lou. Lou, Ozzy, whatever your name is. Let's cut the bullshit. I just want to know one thing. 
that she put you up to this? This is between you and me. She's not paying you. I've already been compensated. Oh, so you're a private dick then. <sighs> private dick? No way. Then how the hell do you know so much about me and my wife? Who I'm still married to, by the way. Not anymore. What are you talking about? This is so hard. It never gets easier. Will you tell him already? Lou, my Americano? Huh? Yeah. I could really use a job right about now, huh? You guys, I'm on break. Ah. Oh. Lou. How about that Americano, Lou? Lou, I need my job right now. Go to hell. Lou, can I get that to go? Lou, we're sorry, we didn't mean to bug you! I hate you, Lou! What the hell kind of place is this? What, what, what did you do to them? I really hate customers bugging me when I'm on break. What's going on here? Okay, they'll be back. Are you gonna tell me what's going on? Dude, in a minute, okay? I'm on break. Warm that up for you? Yeah, yeah, please. I'm doing this as a favor for you because you're new. Thanks. <laughs> I don't usually have more than one. But these taste so good, don't they? Yeah. Feel better? Just as good as decaf, isn't it? What do you mean? Oh, no. Oh, no. What's wrong? Well, I, I, I can't drink regular coffee. I, I, I'm hypersensitive to caffeine. No. Yeah. I mean, if, if, if I drink it, I, I, I get... Uh... The shakes? <gasps> you poisoned me. I thought you said it was the best cappuccino you'd ever had. Well, it, it, it is, but I, I, I can't. Oh, boy. Hold it right there. I got just the thing for you. Here, drink this. Buzz bomb. I figured you'd had enough cappuccino. It has coffee in it! Of course. That's all we serve here. Why are you doing this to me? Because frankly, you deserve it. But I'm a customer. Now you get it. I don't deserve this. Bill, pal, everyone who walks in that door deserves it. Think, Bill. 
Of all the coffee bars on this street, you picked this one. Why? Didn't this place seem familiar to you even though you'd never been here before? Wasn't this the only one you saw even though there are at least a dozen others on this block? You came here for a reason. I want decaf. No! No. Damn, if you aren't the dumbest customer I've had in a while. Think, Bill, think. What was the last thing you did this morning before you came here? Oh, I, I said see ya to my wife and left the house. Bill, your wife left you this morning. No way. There was a scene in the driveway. Bullshit. It got ugly. She pulled out of the driveway and you ran after her, right into the path of a metro bus. Death was instantaneous. I think your brain's been water processed. Bill, man, your spinal column looked like a slinky. You had multiple fractures and internal hemorrhaging and all sorts of trauma. Basically, you were roadkill. Do I look like a bus hit me? Bill, you appear as you see yourself. This is how you really look. No. No. No, 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 no. You kind of remind me of that guy in Hellraiser after Pinhead gets through with him. Bullshit! That is not me! This is some kind of um, mistake. Uh. Oh no. Oh no. I know what you're trying to do to me. You're feeding me caffeine. You're, you're feeding me caffeine and, and I'm hallucinating. How many have I had? Three? That's way over my limit. That's way over my Bill, limit. Bill, calm down. I know it's a shock. Look, I'm not dead. Okay, okay. You're not dead. You're just having a major buzz attack. Happens all the time in here. Look, you just finish this, and then you can go. No more tricks. If, um, if I drink this, um, you leave me alone? Hey, I promise. What the hell? I gotta tell you something. Those are really tasty. I mean, I'd drink them all day if I could. Well, it's been fun, Lou. I mean, you, you really had me going there for a while, I, I must admit it. But you tell that bitch that it's gonna take more than a few cappuccinos to get rid of me. Hasta la mocha, metalhead. Bill, you didn't finish your drink. What? Oh, no. No way. No way. Look, look, I've had just about enough of this. Now, I'm going to take a leak, and then I'm going to walk out that door. But we had a deal. Drop dead. Remember, Bill, don't look in the mirror. Tell him about that other injury. Yo, Bill! It's only soft tissue. Wait right there, man. I got just the thing for you. Fix you right up. Hey. 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 
Customer. Excuse me? Can I get a decaf au lait? With chocolate sprinkles? Hi, I'm Lou. What can I do for you? 